Hey Aries, my name is Crystal. I'm doing a reading for career, what's to come, general, current loves, like if you're in a love situation, and then single loves. So um, I'm going to timestamp it at the bottom of the, uh, in the comment section. So I'm going to start now with the career, okay? We have clarity, the high priestess, judgment, the tower, have faith in your dreams. Your commitment is being tested and your hard work is paying off. Okay, so with the tower and the commitment is being tested, I feel like whatever you're doing regarding your career or whatever, I feel like there's a massive change and things are not working out for you the way that you want or the way that you're expecting. And um, usually when that happens, it's because there's something better for us. Maybe we're holding on to something that isn't working anymore just because it's there. And maybe the universe doesn't want us to because there's something better. Um, and I feel like this has to do with the high priestess and having faith in your dreams. Um, <clears throat> because high priestess is somebody who is very intuitive, knows what they want, you know what I mean? Um, and this can also be a job using your intuition, okay? This is for Aries, so like I'm an Aries, I do tarot and stuff like this, so this could be saying you're using your intuition for your, um, jobs. If not, this is saying listen to your intu intuition regarding whatever type of career situation that you're going towards. Maybe you have, um, with the judgment card, maybe there's a decision, maybe you have more than one offer, okay? And I do feel like you're going to be able to make the right decision right here. It just says follow your dreams, have faith in your dreams, and whatever you're doing, your hard work is paying off. So whether you're going to school, studying, doing whatever the situation is, it's like whatever you're doing, even if you're not seeing any type of like, um, like you're not seeing your seeds that you planted, like sprouting or whatever, just keep on pushing forward because it is paying off for you. Then you have clarity. More information is needed. Ask questions, especially in new situations. Don't make assumptions. Be patient. Some Someone may be trying to hide the truth from you. Communicate. Explain situations fully. Openness. Eliminates guessing. Don't gossip. Don't let others gossip about you. You have all the facts. Someone needs clarity. Maybe you need clarity in the direction that you're going. Like I said with the judgment card, I do feel like you kind of have more than one thing going on for you regarding this um, career. So as long as you listen to your intuition and go for what your heart is pulling you towards, I feel like you guys will be able to get to where you guys need to be. Um, so that's what we got for career. Then we have what's to come. Don't let your pride get in the way. King of Pentacles, the world, <laughs> the wheel of fortune. All right. Page of Cups, Four of Swords, the Chariot, Self, Image, and Queen of Fire. Okay, so I feel like what's to come is that as long as you don't let your pride get in the way, I do see lots of um, financial stability and stuff, you know, coming towards you. Um, the world is success, okay, so it's like an ending of something, but a beginning of something else. So I don't know if it's ending of a relationship, the ending of a job, like we just spoke about with the career. It could be the end of a career, but the beginning of something new, okay? The Wheel of Fortune is good karma coming to you, so you got a lot of good stuff coming to you, okay? Then you got the Page of Cups, a new message of love could be coming in for you soon, all right? So somebody might be sending you a text. Then you have Four of Swords, like needing a little break, some, some time to rest, okay? Some time to have your mind clear, so maybe if you are leaving a relationship or a situation or a job, I feel like this is going to give you some time to yourself to be able to get your mind and your thoughts cleared out to be able to help you make this decision that you need to make. You have the chariot. This is forward movement towards success. It can also mean that you are moving. Um, so you could be moving jobs. You could be moving um, out of your house. You could be moving to another state, another city, or something like that. That's what's to come. Then you have self-image. We are all perfectly imperfect and must, mind, must be mindful not to downsize. Shh. Degrade. Must be mindful not to downsize degrade or dull the shine of our light. This is an omen to signify that attention is needed on your own self and image to be made aware of how others around you are seeing themselves. Let the entire being that is you be kind to your reflection. So you might not have so, such good, um, how do you want to call it? Such, I don't think you took, you think so highly of yourself. I feel like other people see, how, see you as someone who's they think highly of, but I don't think you see it in yourself, and this is what it's saying, you know, kind of, you know, maybe if you need to do some positive affirmations or whatever to try to make yourself feel better, um, that might work. Um, maybe other people, you know, may have made you feel like less than what you were, so don't listen to them, don't allow their thoughts and what they say to you, really put that in your own mind. Then you have Queen of Fire, this represents a feminine energy, Queen of Fire, Fire Sign, Aries Sign. Um, you could be astrological fire sign or have dominant fire signs in your natal chart. A queen of fire displays traits of passion, intensity, creative, creativity, for love for community and leadership. She is innovative. She brings transformation. Transmission is daring, dynamic, enthusiastic. 
Okay, so I feel like you are definitely going to be pushing yourself, finding a passion inside of you, and going towards where you're being called to go. And for your general, you have coherence. Like attracts like. You are becoming coherent to the vibrations of others, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, and even physically. You are sharing the ver vibrations of others. Be selective with who you allow in your sphere. Protect yourself from toxicity. Thoughts and emotions can bleed through. We are all interconnected. Energy is shared. <clears throat> first light, beginning a new cycle. Okay, so something's first starting for you guys. Like I did say, the, um, the ending of a cycle coming up and with the first light beginning of something new, break and trial, a, a breakthrough is at hand. So whatever you're doing, it's like you're finally starting to be able to like um, get to where you need to be. And then you have miracles. Expect the wondrous to emerge. So miracles are going to be happening for you soon within your life. Two of Swords, I feel like there is a decision that needs to be made, but um, we're in blindfolds with the Two of Swords. It's like you, you, don't, you, you don't know which way you want to go. You know what I mean? But listen to your heart and go with that. Then you have the Queen of Wands. This is determination. Okay, so lots of ambition, lots of determination coming for you. I feel like this is career. Um, it could also mean within love, but I do feel like you're going to go for what you want and nothing's going to hold you back anymore. Um, your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. Um, you may be, you may have Taurus in your birth chart or you might be dealing with somebody who's a Taurus. If not, it's just saying your dreams need a practical plan. So this could be saying like maybe if you're planning on moving, make sure you have everything in order before you go ahead and move. If you're planning on leaving your job, the same thing, the same thing with a relationship. Make sure you have all ends met. Um, you have obedience. Okay, so somebody wasn't listening to the rules in this situation and it's like um, by doing that, there's consequences that are, you know, coming. So let's see what this says. What rules are you considering when you ask your question? You will be sorry if you're going to break a rule that is in place to protect you and others. It could be for you or for other people. Even though you may not like authority right now, this is the time to obey what has already been set in motion. This is the time to learn the lay of the land and follow the customs that keep things in order. Learn the steps of the dance before you attempt to change time to suit you. So, okay, I feel like um, if there is some things that were like set in motion or whatever, right? could be in court or anything it's like you need to follow those rules because if you don't you know you know consequences could be taken okay so for your current love situation fury that one second <clears throat> okay so passion turned inward upon itself can manifest in the form of anger rage vengeance or fury healing is needed life has been painful and you have been wronged karmic justice must come as it is meant to now is the time to go within and seek answers avoid the trapping of temperamental people rise above the war around you so if you feel like in this current love situation that you're in it's constant fighting constant like fire energy like too much passion like jealousy hatred anger whatever it is it's like maybe you need to just you know, rise above the war around you and just do what you got to do for yourself. Don't allow the people to bring that out of you. Just kind of ignore it and walk away. I know it's hard to do, but sometimes it's better. Then you have debt. It is time to put attention to what you spend your money and time on. This is a moment that you're on a cycle of bad habits that have left you in debt. So it could be within your love. Maybe you're giving too much love and now you're like stuck in this situation because all you do is love this person, but maybe you might not be getting back what you put out, right? Okay, so the habits that you left in debt structure, you're spending def differently. It could be the spending of money, it could be the spending of time, it could be the spending of emotions, whatever it is. Um, structure your spending differently. Discipline yourself, balance your budget, and make necessary changes to avoid future debts. Don't let others waste your time or money. So I don't know if the person situation in your love or whatever is using your money or doesn't work and you're like doing all this stuff, you know? But if so, you know, maybe you need to change that. You have to stay in focus, okay? So hold the course. So if you have your mind set on something, just keep, stay focused on that. <laughs> Deceit, loyalty, holy shit. Deceit and loyalty. All right, so this is saying, who are you being loyal to and do they deserve your loyalty? And then you have deceit, somebody is not being loyal. So I don't know if the person that you're dealing with is lying, you know, hiding something, cheating, or whatever the situation is, um, or just, you know, whatever they're doing, it's not good. Somebody's being loyal and somebody's not. Four of Pentacles, this is saying somebody is holding on to this and doesn't want to let this love go. You're holding on too tight and by doing that, you're keeping yourself stuck. Yeah, 
keeping your soul stuck with the hangman. I don't even look down to see that. Stagnation. You feel like nothing's getting anywhere here. And then you got the Four of Wands. This might be somebody that you're married to. You might be married to a Cancer. Or this might just be a really long-term commitment in this relationship. You guys could be engaged or something like that. But I feel like whoever this is in this love situation, it's been a very long time. And I feel like, you know, this person's been lying. This person's been doing whatever behind your back. They're not being honest, okay? They might be over-obsessive, too, with the King of Cups. They might be over-obsessive with you, Okay? So that's, um, oh, that's not it. Then we got for your current love, coffin, endings, bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. Coffin. Okay, so there's definitely an ending going on here. And then you have the dragonfly, be lighthearted, finding out <laughs> things coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. Okay, so some truths are going to be coming out to you. It doesn't mean that you're going to find out that they're cheating. Maybe they hid something from you. Um, from, I don't know, it could be anything, and maybe it's finally going to come out, maybe they're finally going to tell you, or maybe you're going to find out from somebody else. Then you have photographs, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, making new memories, okay? So maybe you miss the memories that you guys had together, but just know that, you know, if it's still staying stuck, and this person's becoming too obsessed with you, and they're, they're becoming too hard to deal with, it's like, you don't have to stay with somebody because you love them, you know what I mean? <clears throat> you stay with where you're happy. Okay, so this is for the single love. This is for the singles. I put a lot because um, I have some of these extra cards so we can get a little bit more info on who's to come. Okay, we have fulfillment right now. Okay, so, you know, for the single loves, I don't know if there's somebody that's coming in your life that's going to bring you lots of fulfillment, but with the, all these cards, I definitely feel like that's uh, the case here. You have watching clouds, lie back, rest, and relax. Okay, like I said, you are definitely going through a breakup or definitely going through some type of break in the relationship. This is going to give you the time to sit back, relax, and just kind of like daydream and think of what you really want, maybe even meditate. But the single loves, I feel like fulfillment is coming. A new start is coming. The end of a tough cycle approaches. So it's like you got the ending and then you got a new beginning back to back, right? Um, this is Capricorn. What is the other one? Oh, nothing. Okay. <laughs> then we have cycles. So let's see. This is like about breaking old patterns, old cycles, so that way they don't affect your newer situations. All right, so the moon goes from new to full in cycles that are repeat each month. Whatever you are planning to do or reveal by asking your question will be revisited in other circumstances. Be clear about your action. You will surely meet this experience again. Remember what goes around comes around like the moon that revolves around a planet. The energy that you express in your next action will orbit around you. Make sure it's a good one. Okay, yeah, just make sure you don't pass, make the same past mistakes, okay? Then we have X, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment, okay? Also with the higher priestess that I seen earlier, it can also mean that you guys are not really having or um, communication problems with the person that you're with. I forgot to mention that, but this is for singles. Anyway, okay, silent treatment, abandonment, okay? Maybe you feel like somebody's abandoned you. It could be a recent breakup. It could also mean the single laws. Maybe you guys are waiting for somebody that you felt like abandoned you in a long, you know, back in the day. I don't know. Um, addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block, restraint. Okay, so you guys, maybe some of you guys are feeling restraint or feeling blocked over something. Um, something is in the way of your love. And it could be with this two of pentacles, you're doing too much and you got a decision to make. And I don't feel like you're making it right now because you got a lot going on. Okay, talking, interested, conversing more, the weighted message arrives, text, call, email, hoovering, okay, so I feel like there is a message coming in for you guys, for you singles, um, <laughs> twin flame, okay, so it could be involving a twin flame, yin-yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other, and you have teamwork and divine counterpoint, divine counterpart, dates, meeting someone new, dating, get, getting back out there, plan and set a date, all right, so I feel like maybe you guys are ready to start dating or you guys are dating or about to go on a date. And this could very well end up being your um, twin flame. I don't know why I can't think. Divine counterpart. Rare divine love has come into your sphere of influence. This is a high vibrational love and so, so familiar it is recognized immediately. Trust, healthy balance, and deep intimacy are available in its beautiful union. You have reached a level and you're... Relationship where both of you have come to each other whole and ready. 
Okay, so like I said with the twin flame, maybe you guys separated, maybe you guys are coming back together. You have the chariot and the eight of cups. Somebody right now is leaving something behind. Um, <clears throat> they're leaving the eight of cups. This is like leaving all this stuff so you can go and find the ninth cup, going for what you want in life, going for what you've been wishing for, what you've been hoping for, and you're leaving something behind. Okay, so I feel like it's either you are leaving something behind to be able to start this new relationship or this person is actually um, leaving, walking away from somebody. Okay, then you have the chariot. You guys may be living far away from each other. Maybe some distance involved. It also may require, um, maybe you guys are both moving or maybe one of you guys are moving closer. I don't know. The chariot is talking about like something that's being put in motion. The two of pentacles, like I said, this is just saying, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on. You do need to make a decision, but you also might have to learn how to be flexible with this person. Maybe you guys' um, schedules might not um, meet so well, so maybe being flexible is like maybe you guys might have to like stop some other things in order to be able to get together. I don't know. Then you have teamwork. This time has come to consider partnering with others to complete a task, pro project, or bigger goal. This is a time to be open to other people's ideas, inputs, or talents, delegating tasks to others. Helps carry a more fair workload. Assistance is coming from the spirit. Help is on the way. You don't have to do it alone. I feel like the universe and the, the angels are with you um, on this. They're bringing in yours. Twin Flame. I don't know why I can't remember that name. All right. So these are just some cards that are like um, physical trait cards. I just pulled four. You got wavy hair, taller, dark blue eyes, average build. Yep. So... The person that's coming could be having wavy hair, they could be taller than you, they could have dark blue eyes, and average build. So, that uh, concludes my reading. If you guys like it, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Toodles.